of some incredible pictures from the Northern Lights from Estes Park. A viewer sent these photos in, taken at Mary's Lake to our Discover Colorado Facebook page. Oh my God, just gorgeous. I love all the colors. Meteorologist Daniel Grant is back with a look at our forecast. Well, Danielle? fake. I, I know. I was it doesn't even look real, you guys. They turn up the saturation. A hundred percent. I had some friends up in Steamboat that were taking just the same photos out there. Man, wish I lived further to the north because what a show Mother Nature put on late last night. Uh, this morning, we kicked off the day with some smoke, some haze out there. This afternoon, we've been watching the cloud cover push back in across downtown Denver. This is our camera atop Lookout Mountain, tracking off toward downtown. You can kind of see those dark, ominous skies. Might find a brief sprinkle, but that's really going to be about it. Well, we have a brief break from of course, the smoke more is moving in as we look ahead toward tomorrow. This is about 8 a.m. Already that dense, heavy smoke lining up the I-25 corridor off to the northeastern plains. It'll lag to the south as the afternoon wears on and still by about 5, 6 o'clock, we'll be tracking hazy skies up and down the urban corridor. Temperatures this afternoon, they warmed up yet again. Numbers running a solid about 15 degrees above average for this time of the year in the low 80s. We're in the mid 80s off to the eastern plains with 60s and 70s up into the mountains and yet again, no great Great surprise here, warmer than average conditions for much of the West as we look ahead toward the next 10 days. Look at the climate calendar. We were just two degrees shy of that record high 85 last set back in 1910, and currently we're sitting in the upper 70s downtown and at DIA. As we look out there toward Hurricane Milton still sitting and spinning across the Gulf, we're keeping our eyes out as it makes landfall within about the next 24 to 36 hours. Back here in Colorado, a completely different story as we're dealing with the smoke that haze as we look ahead toward tomorrow. Tonight, partly cloudy, numbers falling into the upper 40s for the metro area. A couple spots like Burlington, Colorado Springs in the low 50s with 30s up in the mountains. You'll notice the future cast 11 p.m. this evening, a mix of the clouds out there. Otherwise, by morning, the smoke already settling back in here to the city. Couple of clouds out there in Jackson and Larimer counties. Those clouds will be on the move yet again here for the metro area during the later afternoon, followed by maybe one or two very isolated showers again. I shouldn't even calm showers, maybe just sprinkles. By about 11 o'clock, that wave moves out and clearing skies push back in. So yet again, it will be a hazy day. If you do have respiratory issues, probably just want to limit your time outdoors tomorrow. Stay inside. It's going to be another warm one for us. Even despite the cloud cover that streams in, we'll be tracking highs back in the lower 80s. Look at this. By about the lunch hour, we'll sit at 77 with highs topping off in the lower 80s by the later afternoon. About 83 here in Denver. Even warmer. Ray, Lamar, back to the upper 80s for you with 60s and some spots in the low 70s up through the foothills. Rinse, lather, repeat, right? That's going to be the name of the game as we look ahead toward the rest of the work week into the weekend. It's a warm start, but finally a cold front arrives, a dry cold front, and that should drop us into the 70s on Sunday. And then how about that upper 60s feeling a bit more like fall as we head into early next week. Thank you, Danielle.